Hey everyone, it's Alicia with Knotfest here at the HMAs with one of the most recent winners of the evening, taking home Best Live Artist, Enter Shikari. Hello! Hi! <laughs> How are you both doing? How are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. A little more drunk than we thought we would be because we actually went down, like, we thought we got taken down to collect the award about an hour ago. <laughs> and then uh, we, got, we found out that the timings were all wrong, so we got sent back up to our seats, put a load of more shorts out in front of us. And then here we are. Well, hey, you're having fun. <laughs> having you just got time. the award. <laughs> got an award. Really, really happy with it. Having a, having a really good night. And were you Fantastic bands. Oh, absolutely. And were you taken aback by how heavy the actual heavy was? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, so we're, we're lucky enough that this isn't our first heavy music award. Oh, don't we know. Uh, trophy. But so Chris has got one at his house that we won back in 2017. Yeah, yeah, it's put a hole in my floor. Yeah. <laughs> And he was saying it's really heavy. I was like, oh, I can take it, I can take it. Whoa! Yeah, that's, that's good. Well, seeing that you did take home the award for Best Live Artist, whenever anyone sees you live, I was kind of telling you before the camera started rolling, the shows are manic, so much energy. So what do you think it is about your shows where every single person in that room is just absolutely buzzing? Because not all bands can do that. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, you know what, like... Uh, I don't know if it's the same with the audience, but for me, when I when we play a Shikari show, you could be backstage 10 minutes before the show, 10 minutes before we go on, and you could be feeling like absolute crap, you could be ill, you could be hungover, you could just be really tired from tour. The second you walk out on stage, it's the, the energy, the electric uh, electricity in the air coming from the audience just immediately fills you with you know, uh, adrenaline and, en and energy, and it's... It's a cyclical thing, I think. Uh, so the audience uh, see us absolutely buzzing and feeding off of their energy, yeah. and I think they feed feed off of that from us. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe we just write fucking great music. I think that's <laughs> it. Yeah, let's just lay it out, shouldn't we? <laughs> well, just to kind of turn it around. Of course, you guys won for best live band. So who would you say are some of the best live artists you've seen? Lighthouse Family, hands down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm just kidding. It was the first band I ever saw. Was it really? Actually, yeah, Lighthouse Family was the first huh. band. First I mean, band I ever saw were uh, The Offspring. Oh, yeah. And they were fantastic. Great first live show. I mean, like, I don't know, it's hard. It's like, that's a fierce arena you've just thrown. You've seen so many over yeah. the years, I know. Even when it comes to, like, opening bands, bands that you've supported over time, yeah. like, there's I know, a lot we, of we, artists. We've had some bands that, uh, <laughs> that have been so wild and explosive opening for us that we, like, Oh, so we gotta follow this? How, how are we gonna, how are we gonna <laughs> go on now? Why how can we do this? How can we top that? Why did we get these guys on tour with us? These folks on tour with us? You know? Uh. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very it's a very hard question. I think I think as well like there's there's so much to live music. You know, there's writing great songs and there's putting on a live performance and there's there's so much so much to it. Of course. And um, I don't know. I mean, like, if I had to name one. Let Live have got to be up there. Okay, yeah. Bear right. tooth. I can see that. Hell Bear yeah, I get to see him to tonight right here evening. at the Heavy Awards. <laughs> well, the last thing I wanted to bring up, it's been so cool to see you guys from playing like smaller clubs to the massive ones around the globe. So for you, where would you say is the weirdest spot you've ever played a show? Weirdest? Mm-hmm. Well, um, we played at Scunthorpe. <laughs> that, that was really early on. That was, yeah, uh, yeah in this sort of weird pub in, a, in an industrial estate. We played a, a town called Irkutsk in Russia, like okay. really far east. That was pretty weird. We'd never been anywhere as sort of remote as that. Mm -hmm. um, that one stands oh, out. Oh, well, we played the a pier in, oh, where was yes. that? What town was that? We were doing a tour of like seaside towns. Um, and there was one where we played at the end of the pier, but it was like, they had all these funfair rides, and halfway through the show, Chris was going up and down on one of these funfair rides, still playing his bass guitar. No he had way! A, he had a wireless pack on, so his bass That's was still wild. getting picked up. It was, it was really dangerous because uh, I went on it, and then I did, I'd forgotten that obviously, like the you know the bars come over your head. Yeah. Head down. Oh, so no. I'm strapped in like this. With your bass I'm like, guitar. Hang on, where's my bass gonna go? So the bass is I've, I've just flung it over my head, but I'm not hanging on to this. 
it's just like and I'm going up and down. That's and wild. Thank God he didn't drop Good it. Good times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I played really well. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. <laughs> well, again, congratulations and thank you so much for catching up with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Our absolute pleasure. To everyone watching, this has been the fantastic Enta Shikari. Be sure to check out notfest.com for plenty more exclusive interviews and features. We'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.